Hi Aquarius, welcome to your September Twin Flame Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Aquarius, if you believe you are on a Twin Flame journey in a Twin Flame connection, we're going to be taking a look at the energies between the feminine and the masculine at this time. So we're going to be looking at the current energies they are holding at this time how they're feeling viewing and thinking about each other and the connection at this time any obstacles or challenges they may have as well as outer influences so welcome in welcome in hope everyone is doing well staying safe and healthy at this time this is for sun moon rising venus male or female general collective so Aquarius, I will be putting the feminine on this side and I will be putting the masculine on this side. So it's up to you to decide if you're the feminine or the masculine. You definitely can be female and be masculine, be male, be feminine. So take it how it resonates for you. Or you could just choose what side resonates uh, for you. You can switch the energies around anytime you feel the need to. All right. So please take this how it resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. All right, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Male or Female, General Collective. If this does resonate for you, Aquarius, there will be an extended reading. So you can find all that information down below and the cards that you see me placing on the side right over there are also for the extended reading. So I'll tell you uh, I'll show you those and I'll tell you a little bit about, about that uh, later, but the info is down below as well as everything about me in the channel. So you can check that out if you like to. All right, so let's take a look at the feminine energy first, Aquarius. So we have universal heart and I kind of see uh, Christ there in a way, kind of is like the divine, uh, ultimate divine masculine in a way. But this is being universally universally connected. We're all connected. And valiant courage. Take action with passion. Wow. So it's almost like the feminine is finding the strength in her heart here to just take action. Because I kind of see the six of wands energy here. Success, victory, taking action. Wow. Wow. She knows that this is a um, deep connection here. Feels it in her heart. And I feel like wants to take action on this. And the masculine here has golden memories. I'm kind of seeing the sun energy there. And we have desert passage. Trust there's a divine plan. I have, look, I got the sun here twice, which is masculine energy. So if you're wondering if this person you're inquiring about as you're watching this reading is your masculine, if you are drawn to this reading, I would say yes. Um, he's feeling a little, I feel, you know, desert is a very vast energy. It's kind of like dry and barren, not much growth, not really going on. So you know golden memories so i don't know if he's thinking back about past memories with the feminine or just memories of his life things that have gone past and you know maybe he thinks you know i've been in a lot of relationships and sometimes it was good but they always ended because it just stunted there wasn't a lot of growth expansion left so he may be you know feeling this connection to the feminine but maybe worried okay what if it doesn't work out like every other relationship that i've had so he needs to trust here uh, that, you know, he can get past this energy of feeling like things just always end up like dried up and over and done. Oh boy. All right. So it looks like the masculine has a little bit of issues regarding, I think, relationships is kind of what I'm feeling. All right. So let's look at the feminine. Let's look at her current energies. Let's see what's going on for her what is the feminines i'm using two different decks here so it's interesting to see if we get any repeating energies all right for the feminine what's her current energy hierophant hmm very dedicated loyal you know spiritual faith religion the sun 
Wow. That's like the best card. You Look at the major here. So we have Taurus, Leo. Could be signs and charts. All right, let's get another one here for the feminine, her current energy. One more. Okay, this one. Queen of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Two of Wands. So she's a little bit at a crossroads here about taking action towards the masculine, but also um, I feel like here, whatever she has dedicated her life to, I think she's accomplished because I see her kind of standing tall here. And, you know, Queen of Pentacles energy can be someone who runs their own business, who is of high stature, who is fin financially set, is stable, is grounded, has planted that seed, and the roots have grown deep and is standing tall. So whatever journey she was on, she was very dedicated. Um, someone who's very, um, has a lot of morals, uh, standards, values, higher levels in all forms with the Hierophant here, believes in traditional relationships, marriage, commitment. Could have been married in the past. Could be sitting in her masculine energy a little bit right now. I feel like the masculine needs to get more in his masculine energy. But the sun is ultimate happiness, joy, fulfillment. This is my soulmate twin flame card. So I definitely feel like she knows what this connection is. I feel like they were married in a past life. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. All right. So let's see here. Wow, good energy for the feminine. Let's see how she's feeling, thinking, viewing. So we have Capricorn there, Leo, Taurus. Again, it could be signs and charts or just energy. All right. Let's see how she's feeling, thinking, and viewing the masculine in this connection. Emperor, oh my goodness. And I had said this at the beginning, Aquarius, if whoever you're questioning about you're watching this reading for, if you were drawn to the title, I don't know the title yet, then you're, if you're wondering, is this your masculine? I'm like, holy hell yes, I would say here. We have the Emperor Aries. So she's definitely seeing this as her divine masculine, her divine counterparts. Could have had a past life in um, uh, like medieval times. It's kind of what I'm feeling here because I kind of see like this warrior. All right. Okay, we've got the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So she knows right now this is her masculine, but she knows there's a lot of holding back. But of course, the Four of Pentacles can be about holding on and not letting go. Also, a lot of holding back, moving forward in love, um, Scorpio energy with the Knight of Cups. So she feels the masculine is holding a lot back from her right now about moving this forward in love or following his heart or his intuition five of swords which is kind of sabotaging this whole connection right now yep he's slow walking this knight of pentacles could be taurus definitely taking his time um i got reversals here what the heck um not really taking any action so but she knows this is her, this is her masculine they definitely they cannot let go of each other's energies is what I feel too with that four of pentacles, but there's a lot of holding back. All right. So let's see here. Obstacles and challenges for the feminine. Obstacles and challenges for the feminine. Seven of pentacles and strength. So I'm, I'm feeling like, <laughs> I feel like that feminine just wants to, I mean, strength here, strong, courageous, brave, confident, again, a willpower, determination a lot of holding back strong connection cannot be denied again past life energy seven pentacles but there's been a lot of waiting so her obstacle is waiting <laughs> being strong enough to keep waiting i don't think she wants to wait anymore i think she's strong she wants to take action it's what i was feeling right off the bat with that universal heart and the valiant courage she feels it in her heart that she needs to take action towards a masculine so it's a really big obstacle for her right now to keep holding back and waiting. Yeah. 
she knows what kind of connection this is the lovers gemini energy here soulmate twin flame making a choice eight of wands look at communication travel action wow that's she wants to take action so much so bad waiting and waiting and waiting three of wands she's tired of waiting that is her big obstacle right now is to continue waiting can she be strong enough to keep waiting till the masculine's ready wow all right all right feminine all right so let's see if there's any outer influences with the feminine that we need to know about for the feminine outer influences the feminine outer influences for the feminine the tower big sudden change coming in surprise or shock two of wands that will leave her at a crossroads page of wands seven of swords so there could be um some sort of news that comes in with the page of wands i feel like there could be like a, something creative like she's trying to create or an idea or an inspiration or a project endeavor or something like that that she's been at a crossroads for quite a time here and then there's some sort of shock or change that comes in about this or having an awakening an epiphany um it could be a crumbling down of this also something shocking happening here it could be kind of deceitful we do have the seven of swords um whether this is someone coming in with information about something um about a deceiving energy that kind of puts her at a crossroads about i'm um, feeling this page of wands is something creative or an idea or a spark or an endeavor or a project kind of puts her at a crossroads like okay what do i do now now that i found out some information about you know maybe investors are you know <laughs> not a, maybe it's like the wrong investors or the wrong energies as something here where and now she has to deal with this yeah ace of wands like some sort of new project endeavor she really got to think about here the four of swords king of wands but i kind of see like this king of wands i don't know why he's got blood on his lip someone like out for for blood or out for something it's not a good energy she thought it was wish fulfillment divinely guided but um i don't know here so she may be um at a little bit of a crossroads revolving that energy all right all right feminine so let's see here what's going on with the masculine whatever that is she's gonna have to break free from that because i don't think whatever it is or the news she gets or information or a shock or a surprise or something crumbles down i think um she may just have to free herself from that energy all right let's see here masculine what is the masculine's current energy what is the masculine's current energy oh strength we have that um right here for the feminine and justice ten of pentacles oh my goodness the wheel of fortune so i mean we had in the youtube reading that um i'm thinking we're at the extended we are on the youtube reading oh my god <laughs> no doing too much at once i guess so anyway <sighs> strength so he's gaining his strength courage it could be going through a divorce i mean we do have memories here in desert passage so i mean he could be thinking back on you know why did didn't this work i mean justice can be divorced legal matters especially with the ten of pentacles here um again past lives here strong connection so he's definitely feeling a connection to the feminine feeling like something was faded and destined about why uh he ended up again king of swords here gemini can be like a lawyer a judge um the wheel something faded and destined that can be um sagittarius leo aquarius taurus scorpio so i think he's thinking back like if this is a divorce on you know the good times but also thinking about you know why it didn't work and maybe past relationships before that didn't work so he's a little worried about getting into something new in the future here um but yet something about the energy he, he's feeling that energy of like 
wow, this was all meant to be. It was fated. It was destined. You know, all these things had happened. Because had they not happened this way, I would have not met this Divine Feminine. So it all had to lead up to this. So he's feeling that energy about it, but yet he has the uncertainty about um, the new relationship. And will it be a desert like the other relationships that didn't work out? So there's something about here, you know, strength can be, you know, strong, courageous, brave, a lot of holding back, needing to gain willpower and courage, past life energy. Strong energy here. So, wow. So definitely here. It's like he's gaining the knowledge and strengthening the energy of understanding why all of this had to happen this way, why it happened this way, that it was fate and destiny with the wheel here. Wow. All right. He is having some, you know, he is a little stuck though, feeling stuck and trapped in fear. The moon energy about this also. All right. So let's see how he's feeling, thinking. Okay. I didn't quite ask yet. How is he feeling, thinking, viewing the feminine in this connection at this time? I mean, he could have been recently divorced, maybe around Leo season, which was not that long ago could have been in August, you know, maybe his divorce was final in August, could have been like a 10 month pro uh, process for him, 10, 11 months. Uh, let's see here. How is he viewing, thinking about the feminine and the connection? Four of Cups. So yeah, he's thinking about the offer, but again, just thinking, thinking and thinking about a new connection, offering that cup, heading down this whole path again nine of cups so he's single right now he is single and he's kind of living the good life he's free independent can do what he wants feeling like okay do i want to give up my freedom freedom but i cannot stop thinking about the feminine she is my wish fulfillment someone i've always dreamed of seven of wands so that's why he's still a little defensive on guard has a little bit of a wall up he's been through a struggle a battle a fight I feel like, you know, he's working on himself. He's working through the whole process. He could be busy at just work, you know, trying to forget uh, this energy. Yeah, tower. Something definitely ended, broke down for him. Aries energy. Something that he had to walk away from. So that's why he has a little bit of a wall up here. He's been through the big uh, struggle and battle here. Not sure he wants to give up his independence, but he can't stop thinking about the feminine. And he, he's like, why can't I stop thinking of her? I can't. Yeah, he's starting to understand why everything took place the way it did and how he met his feminine at this time, right after, or right during, or after a divorce, probably during, or right before the divorce. Um, it was the divine plan right here. So he's starting to see that. Wow, okay. So let's see here. Um, Obstacles, challenges for him. Masculine. All right. I'll take those. Again, we got the Ten of Cups. You know, will he accept happiness, joy, fulfillment into his life again? Because he's starting to understand the divine plan here again with the wheel and the world. Definitely things closing out for him. This new beginning is at hand. Could be something with traveling or distance. So have Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius. His big obstacle is letting the new in after the old has ended and allowing himself to feel peace, happiness, joy, love, fulfillment. Again, three of wands. So there's a period of waiting here. He's waiting, but he knows that this new love is undeniable after the, again, the ending. He knows it's going to happen. <laughs> Magician manifesting a new beginning here. Gemini Virgo. Yeah, he knows it's destined to happen, but um, there's a lot of waiting. He's, he, he keeps waiting. He, he just doesn't know, doesn't know what to do. Wow. All right. So let's see if he has any outer influences. Well, the magician just flew out again. So he could be in the process here, Gemini Virgo, of manifesting a whole new life for himself now that if he's 
ended a divorce, uh, ended a relationship, is divorced, and now he has to create a whole new life for himself. So he could be in the process of doing that right now, like moving, and the world can be about moving. So he could be relocating, moving, uh, just trying to get into now a life of being on his own, being solo, single. All right, what else here? Hangman. So yeah, he's still stuck, hung up, thinking, contemplating Pisces energy. But that is about, you know, you gain new perspectives and then enlightenment takes action. So a brief pause. Feeling a little stuck in the energy, not sure what to do here. It's just a cups to return back to that connection that he feels with his feminine. So actually what I feel like here is that he's still kind of stuck in the past. Because the Six of Cups can be about the past. Ten of Wands, so it's weighing heavy on him. Like he's overthinking about past relationships, I feel. And it's really, really weighing him down. So, I mean, he needs to completely walk away. So he could be getting, you know, counseling, therapy, guidance, this King of Swords. Not only can it be a lawyer or a judge, it could be a counselor, a therapist, a advisor, or something like that. That will help him do some deep introspection here with the hermit virgo energy and then we have a positive movement forward here with the chariot so i think he's still stuck in um energies of the past but yet the energy is trying to tell him look you need to create new energy in your life now it's time but he's still stuck in the past that's what i feel weighing heavy on his mind so he may counseling therapy here i do see that yeah uh, Knight of Swords taking action, stress, anxiety. Wow. This is resonating for you, Aquarius. Do give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. We're going to go into the extended. I'm going to show you these cards for the extended first. Also, in the extended, we're going to be looking here at um, what you're both wanting and hoping for the future, how you're both learning and ascending on this journey through the journey, any divine intervention coming in for both of them, especially the one watching this. How, what to look out for, how you can work through and with the energy, and see what it's about and why it may be happening. And then also future energies of this connection. And we'll get love messages going back and forth too. So let's see what we have for the feminine. We have moon tree. If that's not moon is feminine. So we do have unknown ter territory. Hmm, interesting. For the masculine, we do have celebration. And look at this, we have crossing bridges. Mm, okay all right interesting so again aquarius if you'd like to go the extended links are below if you go i shall see you there if not best of luck to you wishing you the best sending you many many light love and blessings and i shall see you next time